in 47 through 50, part A, use the logical equivalences, P implies Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q, and P by conditional Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q and not Q or P, to rewrite the given statement forms without using the symbol, the implication, or the biconditional, and then B, part B says, use the logical equivalence P or Q is logically equivalent to not, parentheses, not P and not Q, to rewrite each statement form using only and and negations. So we have to break up these implications and biconditionals into more basic logical operations. So according to PEMDAS, we should work with the parentheses first. So let's convert P implies R and let's convert Q implies R. P implies R is equivalent to not P or R. So not P or R is the same thing as P implies R. And then we'll leave the biconditional alone for now. And Q implies R, according to this rule, is the same thing as not Q or R. And then the biconditional can be replaced with this really long extended combination of logical operations. So we have a pair of parentheses. Let's start with the first set of parentheses, not Q, not P or Q. So we have to negate the left side of this biconditional and leave the right side alone and join those together with the or operation. So we're going to negate the left side and then or the right side, which is Q in this case, and it's not Q or R in number 49. And then we have this AND operation. Next, we end this set of parentheses, and now we start the second set of parentheses and join this pair of parentheses with the AND operation. So next, we need to do not Q or P. So not the right side of the biconditional or the left side of the biconditional. So not the right side or the left side, which is not P or R. And then we end the second set of parentheses. So this is part A. For part B, we have to use the logical equivalence that the OR operation can be written in terms of negations and the AND operation. So we have a lot of OR operations that we have to work through here. I think the best step forward from here is to distribute these two negation symbols here using De Morgan's law so that we can get rid of some of these OR operations right from the get-go and turn them into AND operations. So I'm going to distribute this negation, and I'm going to distribute this negation. So that got rid of two OR operations, and that didn't really help us that much, but that's fine. We have four OR operations to work with. I'm going to work on these two oper OR operations first, and I'm going to apply this formula right up here. So not Q or R would be not, according to this formula, there would be a not in front of a parentheses. And then we have to negate the first one and negate the second one. So negate the not Q would be a not not Q, which is just Q, and not R. And then we have to close off all these parentheses. And next we have to convert this OR operation into an AND operation and negations. So we have to do reverse De Morgan's law. So we're gonna pull out a negation here and it would be P and not R. Okay, so now we need to convert this OR operation and this OR operation by pulling out a negation from each of these two large parentheses that are being joined together by this AND operation here in the middle. And so we need to do reverse De Morgan's law, which means we pull the negation out, we convert both of those OR operations into AND operations, and we negate all four of these parentheses here. So I'll bring the negation to the very, very outside here for the first set of parentheses, and then I negate each of these, so not P and not R. And then we can flip the OR operation by De Morgan's law to an AND operation, and then we have to negate this whole thing right here, but we already have a negation in front of that. So a negation of a negation is just, they cancel each other. So I'm left with my Q and not R. And we're gonna pull out a negation from this second parentheses here. So next we need to negate each of these two and flip the OR operation. So I'll negate the first part and negate the second part. 
But if we negate the second part, we already have a negation in front of here. So negating a negation means that the negations cancel out and I'm left with the original thing, which is P and not R. And I need to end this parentheses. And this right here is my answer to part B. So what does this mean? Like, why is this problem important? It just looks tedious, right? Well, I want to mention that this proves that you can break apart implications and biconditionals in terms of negations and the AND operation. And it turns out you can build all of logic based on those two logic operations. It's extensive to use those two logic operations, but this point is extremely important when we talk about logic gates coming up soon. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.